Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on designing the induction show template for workshop model. In this lecture, we will work on designing the models for customers and booking. So let's think about this way in real world sense. In real world, when we book tickets for an event, let's say for movies, then we can easily identify that as a customer, we can have many bookings for a movie or we can create many bookings for a movie and at the same time, the same movie can be booked by many customer as well. So hence there is a clear many to many relationship between customer and movies. Okay. Through booking. And as the booking gets created per movie, the total seats get decreased as well. Okay. So here you can think of one to many association between customers and booking and one to many association for workshops and booking as well. Okay and the customer and workshops can have many relation one many to many relationship through bookings okay and this is what we're gonna do in this lecture so first let's discuss on the customer model the basic information about the customer model we need is that the customer's full name email contact number and a stripe customer id we need here a stripe customer id because we will create the customer on the stripe as well okay but let me uh, explain about the stripe a little bit that uh, stripe is a payment processing system that we're going to use in this uh, uh, course project to allow users to book tickets or for the workshops and then we will charge them through stripe okay and this custom stripe customer id will prevent us from creating a new customer on stripe for each transaction okay we will create a customer once and then when next time the same customer coming to the booking ticket for any workshop then we can retrieve the customer from the stripe if the customer is already exist on the stripe okay now let's generate the customer model okay so to generate the customer customer model go to the rails console and just sorry go to the terminal okay and you need to generate the model like rails g model customer and what field we required here is that full name and then email and contact number and stripe customer id So whenever you create a customer on stripe you will get a customer id and that uh, value of that stripe customer id we will be stored in our customer table okay so now generate the model and after generating this model we need to run the migration so let's uh, run migration rails db migrate now the table has been generated and you can verify this by taking your schema.rb so go to the schema.rb and you can see that now we have customers table so uh, before moving forward we need to add some basic validations to the customer model that is full name and contact number must be exist and email must be present and it must be unique for each customer okay so we can prevent uh, duplicate entries of customer with same email okay so open the customer model so go to the app models and uh, let's open customer.rb and here we will add some validations okay so first validates full name okay and then email sorry contact number and then presence true okay and then validates email and it must be presence true and uniqueness true and now save the file so the customer model has been generated and now it's time to create booking model so let's discuss the attributes for booking model or what the uh, data field we required for booking model is that a booking details require the total tickets book okay and the amount fair paid for those tickets and a transaction id through which you can easily access the details of uh, payment using payment gateway okay since we will be using stripe for making charges for the customer for these bookings okay so we will store stripe transaction id to capture the stripe charge detail okay and other than these attributes we require customer id and workshop 
ID, which is ultimately the foreign keys of customer and uh, workshop model. Okay, because we have many one to many association between customer and booking and workshop and booking. Okay, now let's generate the booking model. So to generate the booking model, what we need to do? Say so go to the Rails console, a uh, Rails terminal, and generate Rails DB. Sorry, Rails DB model booking. Okay, and now in this booking model, you need to add fields that you require. So first we require number of tickets and it must be integer okay because tickets cannot be in fraction so it must be integer and then amount paid it can be float and then stripe transaction id and now to store the foreign keys of customer and workshop model we can simply reference them so customer references and same for the workshop so workshop references okay now let's generate this model and uh, as soon as the model gets generated we need to run the migration so run the migration as well rails db migrate okay now let's open the booking model in your text editor so go to the app models and open the booking model here you can see that uh, booking model belongs to customer and belongs to workshop okay now we need to update the association into customer and workshop models as well okay so first update the workshop model so open the workshop model and here what we need to do that uh, we can add associations like let's say has many bookings sorry has many bookings and then has many customers so bookings because uh, uh, booking is the intermediate model between both customer and workshops okay because we cannot associate direct many to many association between workshop and customers okay so we will use booking as throw model or as intermediate model okay so now save this and we need to do the same thing for our customer model as well so just copy this and go to the customers model and in the customers model you need to define here like uh, uh, paste it and here you can just replace has many workshops okay so what we can see here that customer has many bookings and has many workshops through bookings okay now let's discuss a call bet that we need to discuss about the booking model okay because as soon as you create a booking you need to decrease the total available seats into workshop and update the remaining seats count as well for example if your workshop has total of 100 seats to be booked and a customer comes to your site and made a booking for five tickets then after creating that booking booking you need to update your total seats count for that work from uh, for that workshop by subtracting the total number of tickets booked by that customer so it should be 100 minus 5 so you need to update your uh, workshops total seats count as 95 okay so we need a callback here inside the booking model okay so open the booking model okay and now in this booking model we can sorry first save the customer model okay and now in this booking model we can add a after create callback okay because we need to update the total seats count for workshop after right after creating a booking okay so let's add a after create callback here so after create okay and then we need to provide a callback name here so we can name our callback as update workshop seat count okay so update workshop count okay and now just copy this callback name and we need to implement this method so we can implement like def update workshop seat count and in this method what you need to write that uh, workshop dot update okay workshop dot update and then remaining seat 
remaining seats and it should be updated by workshop dot total seats minus number of tickets booked number of tickets okay. and when we create actual booking through the booking form then you will see that this uh, callback will get work okay and uh, after writing this callback just save the file okay so till this step we have set up all the models which are required to book a workshop for customer okay now i wanted to apologize for one thing that when we created workshops using seats file i mentioned the remaining seats as zero okay here you can see okay so you can see that remaining seats zero for all the workshops okay but initially when there is no booking for any workshop then the remaining seats must be equal to total seats for all workshops okay so let's update it okay so go to the terminal and open rails console and inside this rails console let's first face the remaining seats of all the workshops so you can write workshop workshop dot plug and in this plug what we can use remaining seat okay seats and when you check you will see that all the workshops has remaining seats as zero okay and uh, what we need to do now we need to update the remaining seats of all the workshop equal to its total seats okay so let's execute the workshop dot all dot h2 and then workshop and make the enter and execute a query workshop dot update and then remaining seat remaining seats equal to workshop dot total seats dot total seats okay and now end this loop and run this sorry there is some mistake so remaining And run this query okay so here you can see that now uh, remaining seats for all the workshop is 100 okay and that's it that's all from this lecture in the next lecture we will create uh, a booking form for to into a workshop page for customers where customers can come and book their seats for that particular workshop okay meanwhile please go through this lecture and try this at your end because from this lecture you can learn few important things like uh, how to define or how to think about uh, association between two entities like just like we think about uh, has many and has many through association between booking and a uh, booking customer and uh, workshop and the same as way we are uh, think about the one to many association between customers and booking and same for the workshop and customer okay and you can also see that we use the after create callback as well and moving forward this will be helpful for you okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet to let's meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe